Hello Guardians, welcome back to DTR, this is Right Way Gaming bringing you a video from Destiny 2. That's right, Destiny 2 is here. And we've decided to make a video on the world vendors because, well, you might not know who they are and you might not know what they sell. So, let's, we're at the, let me just show you on the map. There it is. So we're currently in the European Dead Zone. That's where, that's where this place is, in case you can't tell. And the vendor is Devrim K. He's in the church at the very top from the Trostlands. And he's the very first person that you will probably come in contact that will sell your stuff. So if you open up his inventory, as you can see I've got uh, some stuff to hand into him already. Which I will be doing so now because I need to. And it actually rewards me with an engram anyway. So, you know, pretty pretty good, pretty good. So they sell greens to help you level up with, but that's not what I'm interested in. I'm going to take the engram off him here. And as you can see, i got a complex solution, some boots, and some shaders. But if you want to know what he sells, all you have to do is press Y on the engram, and it'll bring you up a preview of what you can get. So he sells wildwood armor. Yeah, you'll also sell two shaders, the Dead Zone Foilage and Dead Zone Bark, which I'm not very keen on, and to be honest, I don't like any of the green shaders. It then also sells you a faction weapon, so a Scathe Lock, which we all are familiar with from the beta, Cartesian Cordiac Fusion Rifle, Flash and Thunder Grenade Launcher, Bad News Hand Cannon, Call to Surf Scout Rifle, minimum distance sidearm and the complex solution sword which is what I've just got. He'll then also sell you an additional reward which could be any of these which is dead end cure chest piece the be thy guide cloak well be thy guide is the cloak obviously this is in hunter gear it could be different for titans or warlocks but that will be the addition. And you get these legendary shards. I've not had one as of yet. But that's what you need in order to upgrade gear. You'll also get the Uriel's Gift Auto Rifle. Flash and Thunder Grenade Launcher. Which I think was up here. Yep, that's right. Uh, the Berenger's Memory. The Rattler. Or the Widow's Bite Sniper Rifle. So they're the rewards you can get from Devrim K. Um, some nice ones there. I mean, the scare flock's a great weapon. Um, that scout rifle looks okay. Bad news, hand cannon looks okay. But obviously, the, all these weapons will need to be tested out when people do get them because we don't know what they're like yet. But that is it from this guy. Next up, we'll be taking you to. Let me just bring it up. I think it's Titan, which is the next map that you actually gain access to. So there's Earth, so if we go to Titan, you will find that the person is called Sloan, and there she is. So if we fast travel to Siren's Watch, and I'll catch you in a second guys. So right, when you spawn in here, you will literally be just a couple of feet away from her. All you gotta do is you gotta turn to the right and run into this building here and Sloan will be there. So again, all the vendors are exactly the same. You will have some form of reputation that you will have to grind through, but it will be different things that you have to collect in order to reward that gear. So as you can see, I'm currently at power of 222 with her from my last engram. And she sells different stock, as you could guess. So, she sells the Lost Pacific Armour faction gear with New Pacific Rush and the New Pacific Sink shaders. Then the faction weapons that she can give you are Nox Echo or the Fusion Rifle, Annual Scare Hand Cannon, the Swift Ride Pulse Rifle, which looks like it could be a good pulse rifle, uh, the Husko Rocket Launcher, the Torn Patrol Scout Rifle, the Dead Man Walking Sidearm, the Foggy Notion Machine, Machine Submachine Gun, sorry. And then again, a Legendary Shards, that is consistent throughout all the vendors. 
the Fargon Hood for me, the Road Complex, Road Complex Boots, and the Arrogant Knight Gauntlets. But then the weapon is Ariel's Gift again. And you'll skate. Right, why are some of these looking very familiar? The Mossy Pock Rocket Launcher, the Bagalian Shotgun, and the Out of Options Submachine Gun. So, again, a completely set of different weapons apart from the Ariel's Gift, which it seems to be similar. Now, I am yet to find whether these change, but from what I know, they do remain the same on a weekly basis and every time you upgrade your reputation, if that makes sense. Again, she sells greens, but we're not interested in greens because once you've hit max level, you're not going to be buying them. Now, next up throughout the story, you will be heading to, I think it's Nessus. So if I bring up my destinations and we head over there, we'll have a look at what the vendor there sells. So here we are, we are in Nessus. And we want to speak to Failsafe, who's in the middle of Exodus Black. Right, so here we are in Exodus Black. What you need to do is, once you're spawning there, you just want to run straight ahead to this, what looks like a ship engine, or similar to something like that, at the back end of a ship, and just climb up it. Use him as leverage. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Run through these, uh, what's, like I said, can only explain as the back end of an engine. And you'll come across Failsafe. Open her up. Greetings. And she'll greet you. She's pretty weird at times. Ignore this. Um, this is because we've completed all the adventures on this area. And again, I have got some stuff to hand in to her, so I will do just to show how it works. So as you saw the reputation bar going up there. And again, if you press Y to preview the gear that she sells, she sells the Exodus Down gear. And it, by the way, each of these vendors will give you a preview of what the armor looks like on your character to the right. She sells the Nessus Pursuit Shaders and the Nessus Mirage Shader. The faction weapons that she sells are Ariel's Gift, that's becoming very common. Shock and Awe Fusion Rifle. The Shattered Piece Hand Cannon. The Mossypock Rocket Launcher, we've seen that well. 765 Scout Rifle, which I have. The Last Hope Sidearm and the out of options submachine gun and for additional rewards I'll again the legendary shard and again these are becoming very familiar sets of armor they're not consistent throughout the vendors but they all have roughly the same name whoa okay did somebody just see that because they just literally changed Like I'm literally talking, the entire lot changed. That is interesting. Because that Shepherd's Watch sniper rifle weren't there before. So I'm going to keep an eye on that and I'll uh, keep you posted. But yeah, that's a, a new development for me. The Valicade Auto Rifle, the Swift Ride Pulse Rifle, Sidearm, the Rattler, the Widow's Bite Sniper Rifle and the foggy notion submachine gun now there's no cooldown or timer on here to say that there's a weekly reset or a daily re reset but you did just witness that like i did so that is that's going to need to be kept an eye on next up we have the last planet which is io Alright guys, so this is literally the final vendor and you should spawn pretty much straight on top of him. And he is, he's straight over here. He's called Asher Mur, the Fragmented Researcher. He's a friend of Ikora's as far as I know. Um, but if you go into his ventry, again it'll be very very consistent with the others. So you have stuff to hand into him, like uh, so. You just keep handing it into him, and I'm nearly there, to be honest. I've not actually looked look at this guy's vendors yet, so it's going to be interesting. So he sells the Genzim Knight gear, with the Echoes of I.O. Shader and the Flowers of I.O. Shader. I'm actually quite keen on that armor set. I might have to get that. 
Well, grind for it anyway. Then faction rewards, he sells the Valkyrie, the Valkyrie auto rifle, the Tarantula linear fusion rifle, the Berenga's memory grenade launcher, the Blue Shift rocket launcher, the Baligant shotgun, the Rattler sidearm, and the Widow's Bite sniper rifle. Now again, down here we have what seems to be the additional rewards that change. Because we've seen road complex gear before, the dead end cure complex gear we've seen before, and the cloak called home is the first, but might end up popping up later dates. We then have the tarantula linear fusion rifle again, the rattler sidearm, the shepherd's watch sniper rifle again, and a single clap sniper rifle which we haven't seen yet, and the negative space sword which I don't think we've seen yet either. So it seems that across the vendors they do sell different gear. Whether this changes on a weekly basis or not we are yet to find out. It could change on a per engram basis of what we've just seen. But I will have to look into that so don't hold me to it. That is it for now guys. I'll be doing a separate video covering the farm vendors. So keep an eye out for that. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more. Right way gaming, over and out.